Right guys, you asked for it. You wanted a crossflow build. We've not got just any old crossflow build. We've got a crossflow build in an AX block with a stroke of crank, 1906 CC. The engine is an AX block crossflow. Start the out life in a Caterham, 1700 Super Sprint, which means, as it says on tin, 1700 CC or 83.25 millimeter pistons. They came with a 234 camshaft, a pair of 40 DCOEs, and a modified head. The heads were ported and reworked. They had larger valves. The ports were opened up and reshaped. They thinned down the valve guide boss, but didn't remove it altogether. It gave about 135 brake horsepower, which is about similar to the outgoing BDR engine. So, what's the plan for the engine? Well, the engine is gonna end up in a Mark I Escort, a genuine Mexico to be precise, which is why it's still got a cross flow and it's sticking with one. The owner wanted more torque, more grunt than his existing engine and we had long discussions over camshafts and he decided a long while ago that the route to more torque was bigger capacity, hence the fact this is going to be a 1900. After much discussion on a camshaft, we've opted to use a Kent 244, which in actual fact is the same cam as in his existing engine. However, with more capacity, it will tame the cam so it should give you more torque and more top end power. The carburetors will be upgraded from 40s to 45s. Although these having 38 mil chokes, I'm gonna to need to slim them down a bit or it's gonna do nothing below 5,000 revs. The cylinder head here is gonna to need some more reworking. We're gonna fit separate guides, finish bolting it and make it unleaded. Com rods are clients already built. Max speeding rods. Yeah, Chinese rods. But I think in this application, they will be fine. If I was building an all out full steel racing cross flow, I'd probably insist we had some UK made EM40B rods from Farndon, but I think in this application, they're gonna do fine. To get to our 1906cc, the gore boards are gonna be opened out to 85 millimeter. I've had a good measure, and from what I can tell, we've got around four millimeters wall thickness in this current block, so it should go okay. I've already put the crankshaft in with a rod and an old piston, because we need to check for clearance. If I turn the engine over, you can see the steel crank in there, and I've also installed the camshaft. Now we already have an issue, because when I first put the piston on, it wouldn't go all the way in because it hit the counterwebs, a bottom dead tender. So I put the piston in a lathe and chopped the bottom bit off it. These are not the pistons that are gonna be used, but they're handy. I need to put a piston in it to rotate the engine to check that everything clears. Focus on the big end and the camshaft. And as I rotate the engine, oops. And if we rotate the engine the other way, we can see that the the con rod hits the block. This side we can grind away for clearance. And whilst I can machine a little bit off the camshaft, I'm reluctant to take enough off of it for it to clear all the con rods. So unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to um, rework the con rods a little bit. If I put the steel con rod up against the standard con rod, you can see just there, there's more material on the steel one. Take a bit off the steel rods here. We can't take much, but we can take a bit, bit off the con rod, bit off the camshaft, and the engine will rotate. Pistons are undecided yet. So once we've clearanced everything and measured it up using the standard pistons, I'm gonna work out what we need in a piston. It's probably gonna be something custom, undecided yet. With the 244 camshaft, I want about 11 to one compression. And at this stage, I'm highly tempted to go flat, flat piston and chamber. And if you're into cross flows, you'll know that flat piston, flat head, plenty of valve piston clearance, lovely light piston, we'll make an engine that wants to rev well. And we'll be no about the piston clearance issues. And without the big heavy crown that sticks up into the combustion, the chances of detonation and engine failure are much reduced. Obviously the crankshaft is pretty much the heart of any engine. The 84 mil stroke on this steel crankshaft is what will give us the 1906 cc as opposed to the 1750 we'd get with just an 85 millimeter bore. The crank itself I'm told is a Chinese jobby. Looks okay and I suspect more than man enough for the job. As we've already showed, it does create clearance issues. If I were to be doing this from scratch, I would probably use a custom crankshaft with a smaller crank pin, and therefore we wouldn't have such clearance issues between the con rods and the camshaft. But we've got what we've got, we need to make it work, and that's what we're gonna do. So if you haven't done so already, you know what to do guys, click subscribe to make sure you get to tune in for the next installment.